gang, it's your boy Ram Money. We back with some more news, man. Come on, man. Uh, Y'all already know it's about to be another one. Uh, before we start, y'all already know. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications. You feel me? Uh, share the video. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, just do what y'all do. You feel me? But it's gonna be another story coming out of my state. Not my, not my city, but my state. You feel me? Uh, you already know that big Texas. You know, but. Brian, Texas over here, you already know. Um, so, as you can see in the title, we got a, a, a woman, I ain't gonna even call her a mama, a woman that wasn't built to be a mama, you feel me? A mother, if you, if you wanna say that. Um, so basically, she was charged for the disappearance and the murder of her two-year-old son. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, it's almost the end. Y'all better get ready, it's almost the end. It's coming. God about to come down, about to come get us. I'm trying to tell you. But y'all already know the routine. I'ma read the news clip. Uh, we gonna dive deep into it, like deep, deep, real deep. Real, real deep. And yeah, I'm just gonna get my little opinion. We just gonna talk about it. And hit that like button and share. So, Waco, Texas. Laura Sanchez, who told the police her two year old son disappeared early Monday afternoon in Pecan Bottoms area of Cameron Park. Pecan. Pecan, however you want to say it, you feel me? Uh, woo yet. After she looked away briefly, what that sound like? That sound like, uh, it was, a, I don't remember what the name of the case was, I ain't gonna, uh, was charged with injury to a child Tuesday after the toddler's body was found Tuesday morning in a dumpster near church. Okay, so, she threw the body in a dumpster. But the ad near a church though? Girl Lord gonna get you uh about two and a half miles from the park. So she supposedly looked away for a little bit and the child ended up missing. But she threw the child two and a half miles away from the park where they were at. So, Sanchez, 35, 35, Sanchez, 35, mm. hmm, 35, um, oh, they, 35, uh, I think they had a typo in the uh, article. I think it's the only typo they had, but um, they said she was 35. I think they meant to say 45, because um, ain't no way she 35. Because um, she look at least 48 in the face, man. I'm just saying. But Sanchez, 35, told the police she last saw her son, Frankie Gonzalez, early Monday afternoon in the area of the restrooms near the splash pad in the pecan, the pecan bottoms. She said he disappeared after she turned away briefly. So, apparently he was Casper or something like that. Because, um, ain't no way I'ma look. Then look back and and my phone gone, my camera gone. Yeah, she knows she did. Um, let's see. But police spokesman Garen Bar Bodnum, I guess, 
said during a news conference Tuesday afternoon, investigators determined that Tyler was never in the park. So they caught her in her little lot saying he was in the park. But they said she was, he, they, the boy was never in the park. So Sanchez provided information that led to the discovery of her Tyler's body at around 8 a.m. Tuesday in a dumpster near Park Lake Drive, Baptist Church. I feel so sorry for the for the Park Lake Drive Baptist Church, cause uh, that uh, the Lord. See, I ain't gonna preach to y'all. I ain't gonna even preach. Um, the information found throughout the investigation, the investigation confirmed that Frankie was never taken to Cameron Park. They just lying on Cameron Park. They were never even at the park, you feel me? Uh, tragic, tragic. In the missing child report that was initially called and was a diversion to Frankly, Frankie's actual whereabouts, he said. And that's all they put on there. So... I'm just going to say this right here. Everybody is not fit to take care of a child. You feel me? Um, Even though you can have one, don't mean you should have one. You feel me? Because um, if she didn't want the child, I mean, anybody could have taken care of the child. You feel me? She could have put the child up for adoption. Could have got a better place to live for the child. Uh, but yeah. That's just how it goes sometimes. Some people just shouldn't even have kids at all, but ended up ha end up having them and don't want them, and rather uh, ruin their life instead of letting the kid get a better life somewhere else. So that's just how it is sometimes. But I gotta um, get a hold to this news station because they said she was 35. Um, I don't know what they were smoking on because uh, she gotta be at least 50 in the face because uh, in the way she's 35. But uh, um, y'all know the routine, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? Turn on notifications. Um, share the video. And if y'all can, y'all can send me some uh some news clips or something, and I'll gladly talk about them for y'all. You feel me? Just make sure I got enough information. And yeah, so y'all already know the routine. Raw money, too funny, gang. Yeah, we out. Ooh. The new drink, yeah, my team, yeah, we doing. Who you dreaming? Yeah, we never gonna lose it. Came up from the bottom, now they are.